Shalom, shalom, Yahshua Allah. I want to start off first things first, giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rahakadash, which in the pattern of Hebrew tongue, quick name of their Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, and shalom to your sister, brothers, let me know truth, and shalom to your brothers and sisters that's listening and starting to show themselves approved. Shalom. Crack some real quick. So, hey, check it out, Yashra. We in some big time, you know, big time prophecy right now. What's going on right now is that Esau, you know, the Edomites, so-called white man, they're banging against each other right now. They're divided. They're divided on everything they're doing right now. And when Esau is fighting each other, man, it's going to be horrific, man, because they got military missiles and things of that nature and pretty much i'm loving it i'm loving to see the so-called white man you know fight each other because all the old schools know if they watching that esau always usually had good unity that's why they've been able to run circles around jake because like our unity always gets destroyed because of the curses you know then when jake does come into unity esau mess it all up versus they always on the same side they're always together, they're coordinated, and that's why they've been able to thrive as a nation. But now the Lord is putting curses on Esau, and they're no longer like, they looking like the new niggas, man. They banging with each other. They can't get on the same accord on nothing. Some say alphabet agenda. Some say I'm not doing alphabet agenda. And they're fighting. And we're going to watch a quick clip, <laughs> you know, to show that, that they fighting amongst each other, man. The big fight that's going on right now is Russian Edomites. Versus Ukrainian Edomites. And they're banging. So let's watch this little clip. And you should enjoy it, Yashirala. Check this clip out. I cracked up watching this. Check it out, Yashirala. A brawl broke out today between Ukrainian and Russian diplomats at the PABSEC conference. It started when a Russian diplomat ripped the Ukrainian flag out of a Ukrainian <laughs> diplomat's hand. The Ukrainian diplomat Fine. then punched him out and put him in a chokehold before ripping the flag out of his hand. And in many ways, it's the perfect metaphor for Russia. Like most any bully, once you hit him back, they crumble to pieces. Follow to stay in the loop. A brawl broke out today between Ukrainian and Russian diplomats at the PABSEC conference. It started when a Russian diplomat ripped the Ukrainian oh, flag out of a Ukrainian diplomat's special. hand. The Ukrainian diplomat then punched him out oh, and put him in a chokehold before ripping the flag out of his hand. And in many ways, it's the perfect metaphor for Russia. Like most any bully, once you hit him back, they crumble to pieces. Follow to stay in the loop. Brawl broke. You see that, Yashra? They in suits. These are diplomatic representatives. They are for ripping down flags. They fighting. People had to step in, break it up. They're like Pookie and Ray Ray on the block fighting over a block and who gonna sell drugs man old edomites fighting they are fighting you know and then when they fight you know they always talk about black on black crime you know all pookie Ray Ray gonna do is spin the block shoot somebody house up now when edomites are fighting amongst each other you're gonna see things like this check this out
way more than 21 people. Way more than that. They're going to downplay it. All them dudes all come out. All them Mr. Beast ain't ran out. <laughs> way more than 21 people got there. Edomite on Edomite crime. So what we just witnessed was Russia's attack because Ukraine tried to assassinate Vladimir Putin under the direction of Babylon the Great America. It didn't work. So then Putin got mad and you see the, the outcome of that. Man, they rained missiles down on Kiev, man. You know, a lot of people got death from that, which they were majority Edomite. So that puts me in very good spirits to see that, <laughs> you know. Very good spirit. So let's get to the scriptures. And we'll start off with Matthew 12 and 26. And it says, and if Satan cast out Satan and he is divided against himself, how should then his kingdom stand? And the question is, it's not going to stand. World War Three is the end of Esau Edom's rulership. The so-called white man is on a downward spiral and he knows it, too. They said you're going to have war over here in Babylon the Great. Cause they're having like it's like the repeat of the Civil War. Like I said earlier, you go they're gonna be banging over. There's gonna be Republicans over here, Democrats over there. These Edomites, they they see that their privilege been taken away. They're seeing the kingdom is about to be destroyed. I'll tell you something else is gonna start Edomite on Edomite crime. Now we just seen Ukraine get rained on. We know they can't win that war, but the politicians of Babylon the Great America are now going to send Ukraine another 1.2 billion dollars. I believe so. You know, I might look into that on the numbers, but they're going to send them another billion dollar, you know, package for, for you know, military equipment. And the people, the, the Edomites over here are like, hold up. I'm over here struggling to pay my bills. I'm struggling to pay my rent. You know, I'm digging with inflation. You're going to send my money because it's taxpayers dollars over to Ukraine, who everybody knows can't win that war. They're going to lose. So there's this money going to waste. That's the money you take out of the American people's pocket. So your average everyday worker Edomite is now about to have war with your political Edomites. There's about to be a war. Like when at my job, they talk about that all the time. Like that's a topic today. They they angry about that. They coming to me like, you know, like they know me or something. You see, they sending money to Ukraine. I need some money. I'm getting fed up. You know, they all gathered up. They got their patriotic shirts on. They all hollering for Trump. And we about to see that too. <laughs> They are about to bang, man. Esau is no longer that, that unit they used to have. That's over with. Count that bye-bye. You're going to see a lot of Edomites bang each other out. If one say he's Democratic liberal and one say he's Republican conservative, they're going to bang. They're not in agreements no more. Some for alphabet agenda, some not for alphabet agenda. They're going to bang on that. They're going to bang on that. <laughs> so the best thing for Yasharal to do is man back up and let these devils man do each other in and enjoy the works of your high bashi shah that's that's what he's doing man he's making a way for us to make it by making our enemies they gonna cut their own numbers down you know they gonna you know do each other in and i'm loving it man so esau you know is trying to cast out esau satan versus satan they're divided and you know like i know the kingdom is divided against itself it's going to fall and that's a great thing right there. Very great thing, man. That's why I call her long. Yeah, how about me? I was shy. Because we uh, he, he's making good on these promises he gave to us, man. Let's go get what else I got in the chamber. Because this right here goes to what I said earlier about Esau. This is Ecclesiasticus of Sirach 14 and 5. He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? He shall not take pleasure in his goods. See, Esau, man, the pol political Edomites. 
The elites, they don't care about the lower level everyday working Edomites. They don't give a damn. So if Esau don't give a damn about his own, you think he give a damn about Yasharala, Israel? Heck no, nah, he ain't even good to his own. A lot of working class Edomites, they getting did the same way Jacob's getting did. That's why they're like, hold up, man. What happened to my privilege? That's why Esau mad right now. That's why they're about to take up arms in a minute. Because they like, I'm supposed to get white privilege. And the elite is like, hey, we're doing away with that. We're going into the B system where all y'all going to have a device in your body. And the Edomites are like, hold up. You going to do me like this at the all I done did to help you out and, and help you put these people in subjection? Because I ain't got riches like you. You gonna put you gonna treat me like y'all Sharala? And at least like, yup, you white trash and you're not needed. And so the, the lower level Edomites like, hey man, I'm about to get my sword and I'm about to uh run up in that political office and I'm about to bang bang on you. So the Edomites about the problems, man. You got the, the working class Edomites versus the elite rich Edomites. You know, because it said in the verse, he would not take pleasure in his goods. God dang, I'm looking at the elite Edomites. You got everything. You got all the money, all the resources. You got everybody in subjection, but the elite is like, that ain't good enough. I want them to be in further oppression because that's Esau's nature. You know, that's why all Edomites are wicked, man. Their nature is like, when they get a little bit, they want more. That's why they're called, like, they're synonymous with the bottomless pit. They're never satisfied. So he already got us paying high taxes. You got already got us in captivity, but he wants it further he wants more oppression by putting a device in you he want to gps your your whereabouts he wants to control your purchases you know uh which dictate what you can buy what you can't buy which they can do that with that you know that chip that's about to come out and he wants to know where you at he said i don't want you to pop off go to the country or drop off the grid no man he want to know exactly where you at he want to know who you around because if everybody got the device in their body he'll know who you around so he wants to know where you're around. Oh, he probably going to have some, some type of technology. They can probably tell what you're talking about, hear you. You know, already got that with our cell phones. But that's not good enough for this devil. Because I could I could leave my cell phone at home and, you know, go to work. And he think I'm at home and I'm at work. You know, that, the devil don't like surprises. So he want to put something in your body to where he know where you're at. You know, he can sit back, push a button, and the drone will come up and, and pop up and read you a message or come attack you. That's how the devil, he want, he want that, he want that horror bondage captivity. And he's so horrible, like the scripture said, he going to even put the lower class Edomites in horror bondage captivity. All, everybody. He said he forces all, both small and great, to get that mark in their, their hand and their forehead. So he saw like, God dang, I'm supposed to get privilege. You're not supposed to do me like this. So he saw, you know, they, they the devil and the rich, they the devils. They're going to bump heads, man. They're going to clash. And I and you hey, you can vividly see that about to happen very soon. Like if the elite Edomites keep squeezing on the working class Edomites, man, you know they bless them with the sword. They're about to grab their swords and they about to bang, bang, shoot them up. And Jake, you better not be nowhere near around that war. Because if, if Esau hates Esau, you know they hate you. You know you in the crosshairs. It's nothing. They're going to blame you. They're going to say it's your fault that his kingdom has been destroyed. And we ain't got nothing to do with that. We over here trying to make it, you know, trying to pay all this high taxes and bills and rent and car notes. Like, we don't make no decisions. That's your people making them decisions. Them little dumbass decisions. We ain't got nothing to do with that. That's your kind doing that. But see, Esau's a fool, though. So he gonna blame you. He gonna shoot his own kind, shoot up Jake, and, and just go on a straight killing spree. So what the Edomites about to do, man. And like what's happened is that's them curses falling upon them. What's happening? The Lord is taking away their wisdom and he's making it. Let me go back. Let me let's see. Where's that at? He's making it where the curses that was on us is now falling on them. And we get that in Deuteronomy 30 and 7. And the Lord thy Yahweh will put all these curses upon thy enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. So now that shows you that we're getting free. The curses is coming off of Yashrala. You can see that with the hopeful elect, the brotherhood, the brothers that's teaching this word, man. We come together and we teach this word, man. We ain't on no, no game bang or all oh, that nigga with that set. I'm with this set. No, man. You can see brothers coming together. We all gathered around Yahweh Shah, which is the word. And you can see we, we getting that unity, man. The most high is building our unity back up. Because everything, the Lord of hosts is Yahweh Shah. 
So we all prophesying in Yahweh Shah's name and we getting that brotherly love again. Like the church of Philadelphia is coming back. Now, as our love comes back, Esau's love is waxing away for his brother. Like the Edomites is hating on each other. I'm sitting at my job. They trying to cut each other down. They try, man, they, they going to war, man. You got Edomites that's, you know, with the heterosexual thing. They don't like the ones that's with the alphabet agenda. And I can see them, they come to me whispering about each other. And I'm looking like, man, I don't give a damn. Go, go knock them down. You know, I don't care. You know? <laughs> so that, that shows me what time it is, man. That shows us that Yahabashah is now putting curses on Esau, man. Everything he said he's going to put on us, he's putting on them. Why? Because we're getting right. We're getting back into the laws of commandments. We're getting back into our culture. We get back to our heritage. The Lord like, okay, now I'm about to bless you. Then with you being blessed, I'm about to curse your enemies. And they're being cursed real bad right now. Like <laughs> Esau, man, it's about to be a civil war in Babylon the Great. You know, especially these migrants coming in. So bets believe that. There will be a civil war. And then look, let's go to it to further prove that. Go to Deuteronomy. Where is that at? When you read the curses. I want the one where, yeah, your brother. Deuteronomy 28 and 54. So that a man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil towards his brother and toward his wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children, which shall he shall leave. You hear that? Now they hating they each other. They hating their brothers. They hate their wives. Their wives is jumping on Jake's. Their wives is divorcing them and leaving them. You know, that's another curse where, you know, you, you're a wife of a woman. She get taken by another man. Man, they wives is leaving them in high clips. And you can see that with Bill Gates' daughter. She got her Jake. What appears to be a Jake. <laughs> you know, a dark-skinned man. Like, you know that pissed that devil off. You know that devil, man. That's why the devil coming down with great wrath, man. They, these new age Edomite women don't want Edomite men. They want Jakes because they're trying to get saved because they know that their power is waning. They know that Bible the Great is a sinking ship. And they hear the prophets on the corner and they know we got the juice. They know Yahweh Bashar about to bless us. And these devils trying to creep over and get some of the blessing. Then they go hop on Jake's rod to get the blessing. Like, no, nah, no, nah, you don't. But they children might. Cause they they giving birth, man, to, to Jake children now. They like, well, if I can't get it, let me at least give birth to, you know, a child that can get it. <laughs> you know, so Esau see that. That's that's further fueling his anger. His children, you know, everybody looking at Esau like he like he the devil, which he is. He's being revealed. Esau's been revealed now. And now they're all point finger pointing. Well, because of you, and you did this. Now, nah, cause you passed that bill. If you didn't pass that bill, did what I said, dude. Now nah, your bill is garbage. And they in there smacking each other up in their suits and ties. <laughs> you know, firing people. And it's a lovely thing, man. It's very lovely. This shows you that we're about to get free, Yasharala. Our enemies about to destroy themselves. So with that being said, this place is gonna turn into a war zone. So get the heck away from Edomites. Get away from them. Especially you see them fighting. And see, the two-thirds going to be all stupid. Two-thirds going to be like, we all God's true. Trying to break up two Edomites fighting. And then Esau going to just give it to them. Because it's dumb but don't know that Esau hate him. So with that, what we going to do is get out the way. Let these devils fight each other. Let them do it. It's their turn. Back up and get far away from Esau. Because when Esau, when these different countries... Because Russia said they know America called their hit on Putin. So I'm looking for the retaliation they're going to do on, on Babylon Great America, which they probably sneaking in with the migrants. They're going to probably sneak in their little KGB agents in through there and start some ruckus. And the first people going to get hit going to be them politicians because they're going to want to make a point. So with that being said, man, I hope this has been edifying. I want to say Kwame Yasharala, DC with Bob Bob, and Shalom.